Hey, Shalom, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rucha HaKodash, and double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone. Honors to you, brothers, that are preaching the gospel of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, in all sincerity, diligence, and truth. And peace, grace, and blessings be upon the house of David, which is the elect men, women, and children. So I just wanted to uh, touch on something real quick. Um, just as uh, you should know, a uh, few names um, of the whole, you know, Jeffrey Epstein's, uh, uh, you know, list have, have uh, came out. Um, you know, Bill Clinton <clears throat> being one of them, which they said that um, uh, in, a, in the uh, deposition or whatever you call it, said that uh, he likes, you know, he likes them young, right? He likes girls young. Um, however, uh, you had a couple other names as well. I'm not too familiar uh, familiar with them. Um, I was just, you know, listening, not listening, but reading, reading a few. But you had um, Alan Dersowitz. I believe he's a, a Harvard um, lawyer. He was named 137 times. Uh, Prince Andrew, uh, which his name came up uh, last year. He was named 76 times, and uh, Bill Clinton was named uh, 73 times. And um, let's see. So, so like I'm just reading from my uh, other phone some other stuff that came up. But as you see on the screen, um, you know, this one was, uh, <laughs> it's, it's, you know, this goes to show you, you know, just the, the, the filth, the vileness of Esau Edom. All right, and um, how the Lord, you know, uh, uh, does not let these devils go unpunished, right? Uh, although this guy, uh, Stephen Hawkins, because that's what you have right here, although he was, uh, you know, popularized and held in high esteem in this world, you, you see what the Lord did to him, all right, physically, okay, because what he was, you know, really about in the darkness was uh you know filthiness so this is a, a q a so i'm gonna read it it says hold one second wait are you telling me that stephen hawkins frequent frequented the island for pleasure answer yes jeffrey loved to have intellectuals visit visit the island so he could reward them for their hard work for humanity and for other darker reasons question did jeffrey Every, ever talk to you about Stephen Hawkins' proclivities or pro, proclivities? Proclivities. Answer: Yes, he liked watching undressed midgets solve complex equations on a too high up chalkboard. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know what that what's that even supposed to mean. But I mean, you can obviously you see it. But it, but you know, I was just meditating on how these people, all right, speaking about Esau, Edom, and not you know, not just Esau, Edom, because you have, you know, these other heathens and even some Jake that are, um, you know, joined unto them, you know, uh, uh, that are celebrities or you know of a high status in this world, but in reality, they are are are, are demonic. All right, satanic, filthy, all right, disgusting, you know, and the Lord at the end of this man's uh, rulership of Esau's Edom age, what is he doing? He is exposing them, all right, he is exposing them before he folds them, <laughs> because best believe when Yahweh Shai returns, he is definitely going to put all of this filthy, unrighteous, demonic uh, 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 behavior uh, down, man. He's he, he, he. These people, they're not going to get away, you know, unpunished. And the fact that what we're seeing right now is their uh, shame being uncovered, as the scripture speaks about. Um, uh, shameful spewing should be upon thy glory. The fact that we're seeing that is an indicator that we at the time where the Lord is about to. Uh, uh, do you know go put in work all right on these uh on these people all right 
And as the scripture says, let's just get it. Uh, Luke chapter 12, I'm just going to read a, a few of these because they're just cross references. Luke chapter 12, verse 2. For there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed, neither hid that shall not be known. All right. So all of this, you know, the the, the wickedness that these, uh, so, uh, you know, people of high have high status. All right. The powers that be of this world, all, right, all of the things that they've been doing in the darkness. The Lord said what? That nothing uncovered, nothing that is covered show, um, for there is nothing covered that shall not be re uh, revealed, neither hid that shall not be made uh, known. Okay. Uh, Ecclesiastes 12, verse 14. For God shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. And that's why, you know, it's it's it, it's um imperative that you don't only just talk the talk, but you walk the walk because uh, the Lord hates the hypocrites. All right. And a hypocrite is what? An actor. Somebody who portrays himself to be something, but really are, are the complete opposite. You see? And a lot of these um, uh, people, the majority of people in this world, but specifically speaking about the, the, um, the higher ups of this society, they're into, you know, a lot of um, satanic uh, uh, dealings. All right. A lot of witchcraft. All right. A lot of um, things that are, are are detestable in the eyes of Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shot. And those things are going to be brought into judgment. The workings of the uh, elites of this world are going to be brought into judgment. OK, uh, Matthews 10, verse 26, it says, fear them not, therefore, for there is nothing covered that should not be revealed and hid that should not be made known. Or, you know, a uh, same thing I said in Luke 12 and 2, uh, Romans 2 and 16. And in that and in the day when God shall judge the secrets of men by Yahweh Shah HaMashiach, according to my gospel. All right. Another one, uh, 1 Corinthians 4, verse 5, therefore judge nothing before the time. You know, and that's why we ultimately are just uh, mouthpieces for the Lord, because as as the scripture says, vengeance belongeth unto the Lord. OK, and he shall repay. But we are his witnesses. All right. Uh, hey, the Lord scripture says that, that, that the Lord set us up to be his witnesses about these things. All right, that that are are that he is about to judge uh, uh, Esau, all right, wicked Israelites and these heathens for. So it says, therefore, judge nothing before the time, because in in another reason why we we are not to judge anything before the time because we don't have authority to actually um, uh, execute judgment. All right, in order to execute judgment, you got to be in a position of power. But that's what Yahweh Shai is coming with. As he said, when he rose, all power was given unto him in heaven and earth. So when the righteous judge comes, <laughs> right, who who Yahweh set up, which is his son, Yahweh Shai, he is going to judge all of the heathens around about and Israel. OK, and the ones who 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 were living correctly. In the eyes of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, they're going to get, you know, speaking about the elect of Israel, they're going to get their reward. And the ones who weren't, they're going to get their reward. All right? It says, therefore, judge nothing before the time until the Lord come, who both will bring into the light the hidden things of darkness and will make manifest the counsels of the heart. And then shall every man have praise of God. You see, so these these hidden things that are now being are now coming out there. These are indicate. This is an indication how the Lord is about to, uh, uh, you know, return, how uh, how he's about to come to judge the judge the earth. Because remember, the scripture says in righteousness, do if he judge and make war. His ju his judgment is is going to be based off of righteousness. And as the scripture says, 
the whole world life and wickedness. It's only the ones who are the remnant of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, the ones who have come into the light, the glorious gospel of the of the light of of the glorious light of the gospel of Yahweh Shai, those are the ones who are going to be pardoned. Right? Um let me get this here in the book of Ephesians. Um no, no, Salaki, not Ephesians, John chapter three. John chapter 3, verse uh, 19 says, And this is the condemnation that light is come into the world, and men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. All right? <laughs> These people, they love the darkness. Going back to what this person said here, it says, um, So he could reward them for their work for humanity and for other darker reasons. Now, when you go to, um, I just did like a quick uh, Wikipedia search of Stephen Hawkins because I, I was I was uh, curious to see if he was a, um, a Amalekite because I'm sure the guy um, was a guy uh, Bird. How you pronounce his name? The first guy I mentioned, Salaki. So just give me one second. Let me see if I can. Alan Dirt Der Sheritz. I'm sure he is a, a small hat. You know, last name being the uh, ending with wits and also him being a uh, a lawyer. But you know, I went to you know Wikipedia to see if Stephen Hawkins was a small hat, and he had all of these accolades, right? All of these awards, all of these these uh, uh, honorable mentions. But what is he really about? See, all of those things are just a front. That's just the surface. But what was he actually really about? Because the scripture says that the Lord trieth the hearts of men, right? He sees the sea. I mean, we already know ultimately that Esau is a, <laughs> is a damn uh, weirdo, right? He's estranged from the womb. But these people that are, uh, as the scripture says, that, that uh, um, let me get this here in uh, Wisdom of Solomon, the 12th chapter, although this is speaking about during the time of... Um, during a time of us uh, going into the Holy Land <clears throat> and getting those uh, other nations that were dwelling in there, the Canaanites, Jebusites, the Hivites, and etc. Although this is speaking about that, but you have Esau, right, who is, as the scripture says, the basis of men. Right? Esau, he he's he's the worst of the heathen. So, Wisdom of Solomon 12, verse um Verse, uh, let's go to verse 11 says, for it was a cursed seed from the beginning. Neither didst thou for fear of any man give them pardon for those things wherein they sinned. Right. Um, let me jump up. It says, let's start at verse uh, nine. It says. Not that thou wast unable to bring the ungodly under the hand of the righteous in battle, or to destroy them at once with cruel beasts or with one rough word, but executeth thy judgments upon them by little and little. Thou gavest them place of repentance, not being ignorant that they were a naughty generation, and that their malice was bred in them, and that their cog uh, cognitation, cog cognitation would never be changed all right meaning what their mindset the way that they think it would never be changed why for it was a cursed seed from the beginning neither didst thou for fear of any man give them pardon for those things wherein they sinned and that's exactly what the lord is going to do in this age as well he's not going to pardon these uh, uh these these devils all right he's not going to bat, uh, you know look the other look the other way the scriptures tells you that he is slow to anger and great in power and will not at all acquit the wicked. All right. And, and the fact that all of these things are now coming out right now, like I said, it's not just uh, Esau, but you got, you know, Jake, too. All right. The ones who join join hand in hand with, with Esau. Let's pull that up. Um, oops. So I know it's in Proverbs. I think it might be the 17th chapter. Or 11, okay. 11th chapter. Uh, Proverbs 11 verse 21 though hand joining hand the wicked shall not 
be unpunished, but the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. All right. So you got a lot of our people that have joined hand in hand with this devil doing, a, you know, a getting down with his his abominable acts in order to gain the world. Right. You had um, a cat Williams said that, you know, and it, it, you know, it could be, you know, allegations could be false allegations. But at the end of the day, <laughs> it, it was said, right? That he had um, said that um, Chris Tucker visited the Epstein's Island, right? Uh, uh, Weinstein, Harvey Weinstein, offered to uh, to blow to blow Cat Williams in front of his whole team, and Cat Williams denied it, and that's why you know he's been blackballed now in, in the in the industry. All right, you already you know go see what's happening, going on with uh P Diddy, T D Jakes, right now you got this Epstein's list coming out, which are naming, you know high profile people. So hey, the Lord is doing what He is bringing, everything that that has been done in the darkness that that these people, are that are idolizing this world, all right that are looked at as being, you know uh, some type of um. Some type of a uh, 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 honorable person, somebody to be admired. <laughs> the Lord is showing you what they really are about. Okay. And Esau, the actual, you know, uh, uh, starting with these Amalekites, they're being greatly despised, as the Lord said that He was going to do. Because <laughs> even actually the forty-eighters in the land. You got to uproar throughout the whole world about what they're doing. All right. So let's get this and I'm going to close it out. Um, Obadiah uh, 1 verse 2, it says, Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen that are greatly despised. Right. Uh, in NLT, it says, The Lord says to Edom, I will cut you down to size among the nations. You will be greatly despised. And we are clearly seeing that happening day after day. All right. And Esau as a whole. It are it are becoming more and more um, disdained, loathed. Because when you go into that word "small" in the uh, Hebrew, it says "small, young, insignificant, unimportant." Which in the kingdom, Esau is going to be the 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 smallest, <laughs> right? The most insignificant. But when you go to the root word, it says to be loathed, grieved, right? That's that's happening even now in Esau's own kingdom. He's being uh, loathed, right? He's being detested. All right, he's being looked at as 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 who for who he really is, which is what a uh, 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 damn base man, a vile, a vile individual. All right, a vile, or as the scripture says, a cursed seed. So, you know, I'm gonna end it there, and we will continue to see. You know what uh you know comes of this list and who else gets named but we know that we are in a time of judgment all right we're in the time of yahweh bashim Shai revealing all of the evil doings that have been have been been running rampant in this earth all right and and, and that's why it's imperative like i said before for us as men first and foremost men of the lord but even you sisters as well that your your thoughts, your actions, gotta match what you are saying. All right, as, as the scripture says, we gotta uh, uh, love in deed and in truth. All right, in sincerity. So you know what that Lord willing is edifying unto the elect. Until next time, shalom.